Hi, this is Jamie Benning from filmumentaries.com. In September 2014, I spoke to Kevin Pike, Special Effects Supervisor. I'd previously spoken to Kevin for my earlier project, Inside Jaws, but this time I wanted to speak to him about the film he's best known for, Robert Zemeckis' Back to the Future. One of the most interesting and challenging bits of business that we did in Back to the Future was the opening shot. If you take time to look at that shot and the brilliant development of how that shot is revealed to you and tells the story, the entire prologue, you learn so much about what's going to happen from that shot. But from a special effects standpoint, you have to be aware of everything that went into it. First thing is ticking clocks. That's easy. You plug them in and they tick. You set them to a time and then you take a picture of it. Well, Bob was doing a crane shot move through all of this and he came across the clocks and he went on to the coffee maker and the TV turning on and alarm clocks going off and going across all bits of business and then coming back with the toaster smoking and toast popping up and back this way and seeing Doc Brown's photos and headlines and the newscasters giving you information about the, the plutonium being stolen and then come back to a dog food machine and the dog food drops and pan over to Michael opening the door, tilt down, key, come back, row a skateboard, the skateboard goes underneath the bed and hits the box of plutonium. One shot, beautifully done. But you have more than one clock. You have. 30 clocks on that wall. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. The ones that didn't had to be made to work or look like they worked. The ones with pendulums, we had to swing those. We had to hold certain parts of certain clocks from ticking and going forward too soon. We had to reset all of them back to number one and then hold them until they called action to let them go. We had about 20 guys behind the wall operating the clocks alone. And if you watch the pan move where we do the coffee and that spill and come back, there's no smoke, but when the toast pops up, there's smoke. We had guys under camera putting in smoke pellets to make the smoke come up timely and not uh, give away what was coming up. The dog food machine, we made a dog food machine that opened up cans of dog food. The interesting part was they had to change uh, licenses for the brand of dog food the day before and the new dog food uh, didn't come out as easy as the one we were playing with and so we literally had a torch underneath heating up the cans so that the dog food would pour out and flop into the bowl in the comedic fashion that Bob designed. It was a lot of work and you don't notice it. And then of course you carry right on into the giant speaker gag and the destruction of the room and kicking Michael back and all of that's blessed by the wonderful sound editing that contributed to that. Um, There's a lot of work in that little room. Einstein, come here, boy. What's going on? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. 